Today we're going to make some landscapes in the style of the Phobes or the Wild Beasts. They were a group of artists that didn't paint with normal colors. They're, so their picture looked really wild. That's why they were called the Wild Beasts. And we're going to make ours with these secondary colors. So landscape and secondary colors. This means the green is not for grass. It can be for lots of other things, but not grass, because that would be a normal color. And your background, you'll get some options. It's also not gonna be green. It's going to be orange or purple. And then you need two other colors to fill in. So we have all the secondary colors, orange, violet, and green. Your name goes on the big one. And flip it over. And with these pieces that are left, let's see, I'm going to make it so I have a green sky. So I'm going to take this large piece of paper, put a little glue on the edges. Line it up. Stick it down. And then this piece here, I want to turn into mountains. You don't have to have mountains. And also, I don't want my horizon line to be nice and boring and straight. So I'm going to add a little curve here and cut it off so I have a crooked horizon. And make my layers of mountains. here so now I have a curving horizon line once your background has been established we need to add some objects in the foreground this would be the area that's closer to us foreground is up front Middle ground is in the middle, background is at the back, and you're still using the wrong colors on purpose. So I can go in here and add some little purple birds up in the sky. If you wanted to have clouds, you can paint clouds, but they have to be from these colors that you see on your tray. Or, let's see, I want this line to show up a little bit more to separate the mountain peaks. So I used green. I wanted a tree. I can make a little baby purple tree down here or jump in and make trunk. So the trunk is green instead of the leaves. 